Oh, you're back. Perfect timing. Hey, Fuka, is Igus ready? Oh, no, don't... Ready for what? She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru Senpai as a joke. You can't joke to Mitsuru. She takes everything seriously. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea, so as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Ikuski too. Seriously? He's down with that? She she looks kinda good in that though. He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform. Yeah, she looks pretty good. The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. Probably better than lounging around at home with nothing to do. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. And yeah, I guess I would increase our bonding, sort of. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. That too. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? I'm sure she'll be fine. I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. No, you're not going to school. He said, I want to go to school too. No. Sorry, Korochan. You have to stay here. If you go, the whole class will be distracted. At least now, only the guys will be distracted. Is she gonna wear the school uniform now? Cause I like that. Uh, I don't think she feels the temperature. Mm-hmm. We know it. Uh, because he's a dog. Well, it does say in act that they must have some kind of, I guess, academic ability. And if Koromaru can't speak, and read and write, well, he's not going to do well in school, so... Even if you don't explicitly say that dogs cannot be in school, I think it's inferred that they wouldn't be able to do well in class. Why am I answering you seriously? Whatever. Whatever. Alright, um, I'm actually gonna go check out Personas real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So I just pulled out a cheap Justice and Temperance Persona, so that'll help with the social linking. I just bought the cheapest one, so I think they were 12,000 and 30,000. Alumni Association organized a class reunion. Sounds like a hassle. Pay for transportation, membership renewal, and of course my hotel room. Huh. Really? Oh well, yeah, I guess. For you.
I don't know. You feel it? It feels like you're extending this offer to me every week, and I haven't had a chance to answer you. Still. Well, 40k is kind of chump changed to me now. Now that I don't need to raise stats, I can actually start using the money for equipment, for personas, and other- Ooh, hey, I guess. That's right. who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Please, introduce yourself. Does she always have a voice actor? My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis. What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon. What on earth? Uh, let's just ignore that. Clearly, that's a mistake. Yeah, she she likes to play a lot of innocent sin online. It just goes to show, you can't believe everything you read. You can sit uh, right over there in that empty seat. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, that spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Shut up, Jupe. Which means he's not here. Yeah, you tell him, Maya. So it's free to be used, right? This is why you're my favorite. This spot will be perfect. Because I wish to always be by no! his side. No! Don't, don't say that in front of... Well, Maya and Yukari. And the rest of the class. I guess. Is there a problem? Um, Yukari, why are you standing up? My, aren't we just full of drama today? Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. Oh, that might go into one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> that was nice. Just the whole cast being there. Okay. Sure. Oh, there you are. There's something I have to do, and I want you to come with me. All right. No real need to ask questions. I trust him. You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> the situation has changed. Sorry, but this time I'm not asking. What? This belongs to you. We have a new enemy. They're persona users like us. Yeah, so what? There's more. Ken Amada has joined our team. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki san is located. He's now a Persona user. You've gotta be kidding me. 
Let me ask you one thing. Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. Then count me in. Ooh. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? Nice to meet you, man. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Hmm. I don't really know, honestly. Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. That's fine with me. Is my room still vacant? Oh, wow. Two new party members. Oh. Hmm. So he's here already. What do you think about Shinji? Yeah. I guess they're moving stuff into his room. Full moon is gonna be interesting. Alright, I guess. What are you doing with Koromaru? Oh, really? Oh. Alright. Well, we're getting very close to the full moon here. Magic. And magic went up. That's interesting. Kind of thought lucky fortune would be luck. Yeah. I feel like we're getting to the part where it's starting to get real dangerous. Oh, hey, Yukari. Uh, I think so. I guess. Yeah. All right. I have to finish Chihiro, but I'm actually gonna go check out the weapon store first, and I will be right back if there's nothing there. Or well, yeah, I'll be right back and I'll just show you whatever I buy. Okay, I'm back. So the only thing I did was I bought new shoes for myself and I'll pass on my old ones to someone else. Um, there was actually quite a few new items there. 
but I didn't really want to spend money on them because I'll probably pick up something good in Tardis later. Another thing I noticed was that they were selling uh, bathing suits, like the summer, I guess the Yakushima costumes for each of the characters, but it was like 300,000 yen, and I'm not going to spend that much money on that. And I guess it's probably just cosmetic things, like the, um, like the new outfit that Mitsuru is wearing, so anyways. Let's talk to Chihiro. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna rank up, but... I need to get this one done. As soon as I can. Yeah. We're gonna have to hang out on Sunday, if, if possible. Hey. Hey. Aragaki Shinjiro. Okay. I feel like he's just gonna kick the shadow's ass. That'll be fun. What's up? Cool. You wanna walk? Oh. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Hama. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to try them out. New members? Of course I'm gonna take them to the boss. I hope one of them can heal. Because I was thinking of taking Aegis as well, but if not, then I'll take Mitsuru. So I guess if we get one per month, starting now, then the last one would be in December. Yo, Chidori, how's your hand? I don't see anything, I, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? Hey Junpei. What do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about it before. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe. But most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. Mind if I sit here? tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. When I get to play hero. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. 
You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. For real? You actually believe me? Tell me more. You really want to know? Okay, but don't tell anyone, all right? You see, there's this special power called Persona, and only those who have it can defeat the monsters. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. My friends are fighting too, and ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I guess you could say that. I mean, <laughs> without me, things would just fall apart. Someone's got to be in charge, after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? <laughs> tomorrow, huh? All right! All right. Uh, the baby. Fuka. I guess we'll talk to Bebe. Yeah. That's always tough. Where have you been? So He does have its merits. He does have his merits. Oh. 
Okay, can. Alright, so. I'm gonna save and end the episode here. And next time, we're going to go ahead and take on the full moon with Shinji and Ken. Thanks for watching.